Welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. Before we get started on our training on usafacts.org, uh, we're going to uh, take a quick look at Journalist Toolbox. Uh, this website's been around for 27 years. It uh, has all kinds of resources helpful uh, to jur journalists, uh, students, researchers, professors, uh, all kinds of uh, folks. Uh, PR people use it quite a bit. Um, uh, and it's broken down by topics of interest uh, to journalists. Um, uh, you can go into the data journalism section here, open it up, and there's just a whole list of uh, tools in here, charts and data scraping tools and sports data, math for journalists, all kinds of different uh, resources in here. Uh, it also has training videos like this one built into it. Um, so you can go through and uh, play the videos uh, and uh, they're also available here. Uh, up in the training videos section in the upper right hand corner. Uh, we have a newsletter as well. If you want to subscribe to it for free, you can click on the newsletter link in the upper right hand corner. Uh, it'll bring you to this page uh, and you'll log in uh, and so, or, uh, sign up for it with your email. Uh, you get uh, two emails a month, uh, usually on Tuesday, every other Tuesday morning. Uh, and uh, each newsletter focuses on a you know kind of a different theme of tools. So one was uh, right around the time uh, Elon Musk acquired Twitter. Uh, so I did a little thing on Mastodon for people you know, who wanted to leave Twitter uh, and uh, offered some tools and resources, some tips. Um, uh, also a nice training video uh, by Rob Montgomery, a good friend of mine, uh, uh, and tips on how to uh, go to uh, Mastodon and get set up on it, uh, how to set up your server there, things like that. We also have a fun little around the web section which features some uh, fun little tools. Uh, we always end it with a nice little quote. So uh, just so you know, uh, there's some nice little features there uh, on Journalist Toolbox. Uh, besides the website itself, these training videos, uh, as well as the newsletter. Uh, so let's dig into USA Facts. Uh, this is a great little site that uh, launched uh, back in uh, 2021, uh, usafacts.org. Um, it's a nonpartisan, nonprofit organization. Uh, it's founded by Steve Ballmer, the former CEO of Microsoft. Uh, it's organized by topics uh, that uh, are many times interest, of interest to journalists, uh, the economy, the environment, and so on. Um, it takes uh, uh, government databases, other databases, think tanks, you know, research uh, organizations, other nonprofits, uh, and visualizes them and also makes the, the data clean and, and, and uh, readily available. Um, they also do reports on it. Uh, I'll show you in a minute uh, where you know they do deep dives into various issues, environmental issues, the election, uh, you know, crime, uh, things like that. Um, they spend a lot of time breaking down, making sense of census data, which is uh, quite helpful. Uh, it's a really good site to bookmark uh, and track specific topics, uh, you know, that are on your beat. Um, and uh, you can you still use other tools, you know, Google Data Set Search. We've done training videos on that. Pew Research website. There's others listed on journalisttoolbox.org on the uh, public records page uh, that you can use. But USA Facts just has a really nice, clean interface. Uh, it's a really easy site to go in and explore. So if you go to usafacts.org, um, uh, across the top here, uh, it's organized by issues. So you have healthcare data, trade data. Uh, unemployment, which has been a big one, you know, along with the uh, with COVID, race in America, uh, you know, inflation, uh, which they kind of break out from, uh, uh, you know, some of the other business data. Uh, you can go into the data uh, big tab here and, and uh, see a little more detail. You know, if you're doing wildfires, things like that, uh, you can go in here and find uh, a little more specific, you know, immigration, poverty, you know, some of the subtopics there. Or you can go to the individual home pages. Uh, right here. The American Facts section is really interesting. Uh, it's got a, a lot of uh, census data in it uh, that's broken down by, uh, you know, uh, things that you would look for in, in the census, health data, the economy, uh, population data, things like that. Uh, the report section, as I mentioned before, is excellent, uh, where it takes a deep dive into, uh, a various, uh, into various topics, you know, COVID, uh, how do the elections work, things like that. Uh, you know, and also you know, a lot of crime uh, and uh, uh, you know, uh, public safety issues too, they do really well here. Uh, looking at transportation and infrastructure, you know, how many pedestrians and cyclists get killed each year in America? And they, they do kind of a broad look at it, you know, these are the you know, real basic chart here. Um, but you know, you can go through and, and break down that data uh, by your say, this is the cyclist fatality uh, rate map, you know, and I'm in Illinois. Uh, you know, which actually isn't too bad considering our population. In Chicago, we have a lot of cyclists that get hit. 
Uh, but you know, really outside of the city of Chicago, it's a, it's a very uh, you know uh, rural suburban area. Uh, you know, we don't have that many. Uh, but some of these other areas, you'd be surprised. In Mexico, a lot of peace cyclists riding along, uh, you know, uh, highways and things like that. Mississippi, you know, the southern states have, have a very high fatality rate, uh, not so much numbers, but a higher rate. Uh, this is pedestrian, pedestrian uh, fatalities. Uh, so you can really look at, you know, this deep dive data. Um, you also can go in and actually open up uh, the data and look at it, uh, and also open up uh, you know various graphics. So I'll just open up fire and disaster here, uh, and here just has uh, you know it starts with just some basic stuff. How many fires are there in the U.S.? How many firefighters are there? Uh, how many injuries to firefighters? You can hit this little explore the data button under each little thumbnail here, and it takes you into the chart itself, um, which you can. Uh, go in here uh, and embed it. Um, you can download the chart if you want it as a static image. Share it straight to social channels uh, if you want. Um, uh, you can uh, go up here and, and look at by add it by type of situation. Uh, the actual table itself. You can select different types of charts for some of these. You know, if you want it as a map or a bar chart or a line chart or something like that. Uh, it also gives you a download data option here. Uh, which I believe has uh, uh, had a fee uh, with some of these, uh, but this one just downloaded on its own um, and no fee with that. Uh, and I can just go in uh, to my downloads folder uh, and go in and, and uh, open it up. And here's a firefighter data right here. Um, so, uh, you know, this is, uh, you know, uh, free clean data for you. Um, also, uh, if you want updates from them whenever they have uh, a new project uh, uh, that's coming out or you know, significant updates uh, to a certain uh, collection of data, uh, you can uh, get their little email updates. Uh, just uh, they have a little short newsletter that comes out a couple times a week uh, by just entering your email address here. It's also available on the home page. Um, if you scroll down here, um, right here, uh, this little orange box here. Um, so you can see they feature you know, a lot of their uh, uh, topics out here on the home page, you know, uh, look at costs of air travel, uh, which have become expensive right around the holidays. Um, they do a little quiz now too, uh, a little uh, 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 statistics quiz, uh, which is kind of fun. It's, it's pretty easy. Um, they also have the trending. This is a new button that they've added up here. Um, crime by state, which they've just released a, a big project on that uh, breakdown of crimes by state here. Uh, and then uh, teacher pay and, and airline travel, which is a new one as well. It's featured on the lower right-hand corner of the page. Um, so uh, keep the site in mind. A um, lot of really good uh, data sets in here. Um, uh, really good uh, context around those data sets, uh, which is helpful if you're going to localize the data. Um, you, know, you can go in and kind of look and see what's happening on the national uh, perspective. Uh, but then you can come in and you know, localize it. Uh, uh, by pulling part of the data uh, out of this, you know, and there's uh, they've had some great weather and climate climate data in here too. That's why I opened this one last. You can actually use the little database here to uh, pull up uh, your state and take a look at it, and you can uh, break it down by you know month or by year uh, and really see you know uh, hey you know is, are we getting getting a lot of cold temperatures here you know rainfall things like that um, uh, you know is, are we above average below average things like that. Um, so take advantage of usfacts.org.